This next segment is called On Location, where we learn about the cities and scenes that shape our guest sound. Today's location is Cincinnati, Ohio. Graydon, I think I hear birds chirping. Oh, what's that? The great outdoors? Brunch on a Sunday afternoon? What's your first destination after a long night out? In Cincinnati, Ohio. Well, we usually hit up Django on brunch days. Django, Django Western Taco. It's a, what would you call it? Like a Tex, Tex-Mex type of place. Okay. All right, so you get your lunch. Let's say you both doze off, maybe on the couch together, watching a little movie. You get up. It's very cute. Oh, what's that? More hunger. Dinner time. And you're taking friends out. Nice dinner spot. My favorite spot is this uh, seafood place, The Anchor. Mm. Fresh seafood every day, different stuff. Pretty good. Ohio River catfish, baby, my favorite dish. Okay, so you finish up some delicious catfish, and then you think, I'd like to go out somewhere, but it's not that time to drink yet. Maybe I hit some shops or some parks for an evening stroll. Where do you head? What's in Cincinnati that you can walk around and see? Maybe family-friendly stuff. Well, there's a good viewpoint of the whole city. What is that, Bellevue Park? Bellevue Park, down on Ohio Avenue. Yep, play some basketball, throw the football, throw the pigskin, if you will. A sport, yeah, a sporting boy. <laughs> Very attractive. What well, can I say? <laughs> Stay in shape. <laughs> now it's time for the nightlife. What's your best spot to go to kick off like a big weekend? And we'll take it down, down the street to Rake's End. A little weird little dive bar. What's weird about it? Cool that? art. They've There's got very cool pretty art. Pretty crazy art. The owner is an artist, and he does some weird, weird stuff, for sure. Probably end up back up in Northside, and then maybe the tavern or the yacht club or the, mm -hmm. or the Comet. Quick plug for everybody's Cincinnati favorite, three o'clock, what's the only food you can get? Satisfies that one certain craving. What does it rhyme with, Al? Byline. <laughs> Byline Billy. <laughs> Skyline Chili. So can you give us a description for the people that may not know, what exactly is Skyline Chili? Well, you take your normal chili, take out all the stuff that makes it stereotypically Southern, take got your beef and then you just throw in a bunch of stuff from your spice rack and your dessert aisle, like chocolate and cumin and cinnamon and shit like that. <laughs> um, and it comes out uh, tasting real different and sweet. And if you're from here, you like it. And if you're not from here, you your first time will probably be like, what is this? Fun fact, I saw a list of state foods ranked from 50 to 1, like the best to worst or whatever. And <laughs> number 50, yeah. instead of a state, was getting hit by a truck. And then 51 was Skyline Chili. So that's how much everybody who's not from Cincinnati hates Skyline yeah, Chili. We'll it definitely drives it, it can drive a wedge between people, but you gotta give it a chance just like anything else. <laughs>